All right, the next stop that I went to, we're gonna do later in the video, but our last stop that we went to on the way back to the house was Odom's Orchids, and he is such a wonderful gentleman too. I got to meet him and see the nursery, and it was amazing. Everybody was so nice, um, and I really appreciated that. It really made my heart feel good that everybody was so nice and giving. But we went there and we had such a great time too. We didn't spend that much time there only because we were on our way home and we wanted to get home. But yeah, it was so wonderful. I really didn't, I got a great deal on these orchids that I'm gonna show you today. So I've been wanting an agrecum, but I didn't want something that was gonna get big. So I got a compact agrecum. So it's Angrecum didirii, I think that's how you say it, but it's a beautiful, this is such a beautiful plant. Um, I love it a lot. I can't wait until it blooms. Actually they had one in bloom, but it was fading, but I didn't want it anyway, because this plant looked amazing with all these little shoots on it. So it was great. Then. What else is there? Everybody has one of these and I don't. I don't know why I don't, but I've been wanting one and I finally got one. I got my hands on one, a nice one. That wasn't ex very expensive at all. This is a new Phoenicia falcata. And look at these little blooms. They're so precious. And look how healthy the plant is. He has very healthy plants. Very healthy. He gave me a few of these orchids. And this is one of them. And I don't know what this is going to look like. I'm not very big into dendromiums. But I'm going to try it out and see how I do with it. Look at the little guy, it has two buds. I can't wait to see what they look like. It's a miniature dendromium. And here's a little guy. This is about a year and a half, I think it is from blooming size, but there it is. It's a very unique flower on it. One of the parents is Brassavola nodosa, if you didn't see that. Now my grandma decided that she wanted to get a big orchid, so she did. And it's not big yet, but it's going to get there. And it has a lot of potential to it. So you see that? Now we'll let you see what it is. Yes, it's Darwin's Orchid, or the Star of Bethlehem. And she really liked it. And I was like, well, it gets big. It gets big after a while, but she was like, that's okay. And she said, pick me out one. So I picked her out one and it has two shoots on it. So that's great. I'm really happy with it. Great new roots. I'm gonna actually put it in a basket for her because she does really well with basket culture. So that's where that's gonna go. Then he gave me a couple of catacetums and one of them, I'm really, ex I'm really excited about this one. And it actually has this spike right here with these one or two or three, maybe three boats coming on it. We'll see if that one matures. It has these two right here and then has another spike on the other side. So that's great. I'm really happy about that. It's a nice looking plant. It has two new growths on it. So that's great. Now this one is really interesting, and I'm going to let my grandma try this one, see if she doesn't have any catacetums, but I'm going to give her this one to try out. So this is Catacetum Susan Fuchs Burgundy Chips by Catacetum Rosio Album. And the Rosio Album is really weird if you look it up on the internet, and it has a really uh, fuzzy looking lip to it. Very interesting, too gross. Um, the older pseudobulb is just now losing this leaf. 
and has one leaf on it still. And this is another one I'm really excited about. So it has two new growths as well. All of them are great looking plants. They're so healthy and I'm excited about it. Some of the plants have some artillery fern in it, but that's all right. So this is Catacetum palatum um, variety imperial by Clauicea Marshall Margolius. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But there it is, and this is actually on his website if you would like to see the um, flowers on it. And also the the first catacetum that I showed you was also on his website if you would like to see the flowers on it. But he gave me one that was in bud, so I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to see it and things, but two new growths. It's beautiful looking. Now the last thing from him is a Bulbophyllum. Let's see if I can pronounce it. Craspis. Craspis. I don't know. It's on his website too, and it's on the internet, so you can see it. But look at this healthy plant. Oh my goodness, it's so healthy. Look at all these roots on these new growths. It's got one, two, three, four, five, five growths maturing on it. And you can see an old bud coming off of it, an old spike. They're just teensy weensy little flowers and they come off in a little branch like that. And it's just so nice looking. So I'm gonna pause the video and get the orchids from the other places. So I don't know how I for could forget this, but I also got this from um, Odom's Orchids, and it is a Brassidium Lilian Oka Hawaii, variety Hawaii. And this flower is absolutely stunning. Look at all these buds on this plant, it's gorgeous. I love it so much. Now it does need to be really repotted and it has nice potential. It just needs to be repotted and have a new home. Um, I'm going to straighten up the plane a little bit. It's a little wobbly in here um, so I'll make it a little tighter but I just wanted to show you all these gorgeous blooms. But it also smells very sweet. I was shocked. It smells so good. So the second place we went was the Soro, 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 and orchids. And I think you can order offline. Um, I think I haven't checked it out, but I got a Phalaenopsis Cheriliana. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, it's a beautiful foliage and I can't wait to get it to bloom because it'll hang pendant down and branch off into many buds and then flowers and I can't wait and I love this mount the way it's mounted on here is beautiful um, it's just so nice and this is actually slow releasing fertilizer it's 14 4 14 and it just slowly drips down in there so it, that was very nice. I really liked that one. Now, the third place before we went to Odom's, um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I got two plants from them. And there it is. Now, she said this was about almost two years from blooming size. So we will see. I'm thinking more around a year and a half. If I'm lucky, maybe a year, but we'll see. She said it has to get big, and I've seen them huge, um, but I didn't know they had to be that big before they bloomed. 